Hi guys! This is the first installment, I guess, um, in my next diorama video. Um, I got a lot of really, 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 really positive responses um, on my last one where I showed you how I made the Blythe diorama for um, Miss Allison of Muñecas Pupes Dolls. And I have a second custom order um, for a doll room that can be collapsible. Now, this is the first time I am trying something like this. Um, she wanted to be able to close it and put it away, basically. Um, and I just happen to have this box that can close and open like a book. And I thought this box might be perfect for this type of room. Now, the dolls that she will be displaying and photographing in this room will be, uh, she has a Pasha Pasha mini, uh, Simply Beautiful, and she's got a Popovi Sisters Tawny Owl. Um, so I made the box 20 inches tall um, and 20 inches across. That way, you know, she can stand them up and still be able to get a full background shot. Um, then there will be a third piece, which will be the floor, which hopefully she will be able to to stand up in the inside. Sorry, guys. And put it, you know, in there. And just slide it right in the right in there, and then she can basically put it away wherever she wants. So that is the goal with this room. I am kind of nervous because, like I said, this is the first time I'm trying this, and I still have a lot more work to do. I have to strengthen the walls so that they don't start to bow because cardboard over time can start to curl and and we don't want that. Um, there's also going to be a window involved and windows make things a little bit more difficult. Um, and of course the diorama slash room will be finished on both the inside and the outside so that she's got basically four walls to use for photography purposes. So that will be exciting. Um, I don't know how much of this I'll be able to film for you, but I will do the best that I can. Um, so stay tuned. So this is my second day working on this commission where the room is like a book and it can open and close and then the floor is removable as well for easy storage. You can see here how small Oscar looks um, because like I said before this room is meant for a um, Popovi and a Pasha Pasha Mini and both of them measure about you know 16 17 inches tall and I wanted the um, the customer to be able to you know completely stand their doll um, and have them still able to have a background in the photo uh, because you know just having your doll sitting in every picture is kind of boring so I wanted to make the room um, you know a little bit bigger for her so that she had more option options for her photography um, I did I decided to make the floor you know small enough but it is the length of the wall so she can move it from one wall to the other um, so whatever wall she decides to be using at that time is you know she can just move the floor over um, I have two layers of cardboard on this wall I might have to do a third because it's not as sturdy as I want it to be. 
Um, and because she'll be opening and closing it a lot, I wanted, you know, I want it to be able to hold up with all of the play that it's going to get. Um, this wall is still single because um, I am putting in a window. And it's going to be three panels, like you can see here. I went through my stash of <laughs> uh, Barbie Fashionista boxes and all the plastic that I've saved over time um, to achieve this look. Um, it's going to, you know, be right smack in the in the middle. So there's going to be the the big window, and then there's going to be um, the smaller window on either side of it. So it's going to be like a big fancy window uh, because the, the style of the room is basically what she said, which I, I, I like the way she described it, is um, basically it's an old mansion um, that belonged to their grandmother and that they've inherited and so it's going to be a very old school, classic, uh, vintage type looking uh, diorama. Um, and so, you know, they she wanted like a big, you know, like a big bay window type thing with, you know, like curtains, like old lace curtains. And so it's going to be a challenge, like I said. Um, and of course, I want to finish um, the outsides as well. Um, I will probably do uh, brick on one side and stone on the other with moss growing through the cracks uh, because that's that's really what she was hoping for. She, she loves um, the walls that I made for Allison and she really liked the stone with the moss and stuff like that. So... We're just going to go with it. Um, I'm going to cut into this wall and get the window set in there properly. And then I will show you guys a little bit more. So here you can see I um, drew in the window. And of course what I did was I put the plastic up onto the cardboard like so and I just traced around it. But of course, um, in order to apply the plastic to the cardboard, I needed a lip, you know, here. So what I'm gonna do is I cut the inside out and then that way I have this lip left for where the glue will go um, so that you don't see all that when you make the, you know, when, when you make the window. Um, but the thing is that I'm going to have to layer the wall first, cut out the window through at least two layers of cardboard, um, if not three, depending on how sturdy I can make this wall. Um, and then that way um, I can wrap the inside of the window frame before I glue the plastic on to clean up all of the ugly edges that the cardboard will leave um, once the window parts are actually cut out. So that is part of the reason why I don't love making windows because they are so much more time consuming than just paper walling or wallpapering wow shira um then just wallpapering the wall so um but you know in in my customer's defense um the three you know the, the three paned window will be beautiful in photographs um she'll be able to maybe put it in front of her own window that way the you know, the scene through the window will be real. She can hang up, you know, a piece of scrapbook paper that looks like an ocean view or a mountain view. And, um, and that's what you will see through the window. And then of course, you know, if you, if she closes it, um, she can have like the inside, which would be this wall, you know, looking through the window so it looks like you're looking into the house. So all in all, it's going to be a lot more work than I'm used to. I am trying to get um, 
more creative with my windows and trying to make them look better when, you know, they're finished because, you know, windows can either look really good or really bad. <laughs> um, but I think this one will turn out pretty good and we will do like a really fancy uh, window treatment too. And I also, I, I raised the window up, you can see, because that way if she has like a big fancy couch, she can set it right there and the window can be right behind it. And I think that would make for a really cool picture. So I'm looking forward to the window being finished. <laughs> um, so I will get to it and I'll see you guys in a little bit. You can see through the window now. Isn't that exciting? Um, I measured it all out and I cut it all out and it's going to be so cool. I can't even wait to see it finished. Um, unfortunately, I'm the one that has to do all the work. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, yes, it's very exciting that the window um, looks like it did in my head. And so... Um, all of these edges will be covered with paper because um, I will be adding one to two more layers of cardboard to strengthen the wall. And so all of this rawness needs to be covered up before I can glue the plastic down. Um, and then, of course, on this wall, it's going to be wallpaper, and then on the outside, it's going to be either brick or stone. So, um, it's going to be interesting, but I think it will turn out pretty good, and I'm looking forward to seeing the end result. So it's been all day that I've been working on this. Um, the window has been cut out three times because there are now three layers of cardboard on this wall. Um, I went ahead and used these pieces that just happened to be a perfect corner piece to strengthen the corners here and here. And then the floor is removable, so she can turn it, you know, any way that she wants, like so. This wall is going to have a fireplace with a mantle on it, and I think I'm going to attempt to build that with cardboard and then paint it. Um, and then, of course, up here, there will be wallpaper. This section here, since um, that's this is where it will close, like so. So it will basically be like a book. So this section here will be like a chimney. I'm going to do um, hot glue stones or bricks um, and have that painted so that there's always something, you know, for her to photograph. Like she can lean the doll up against the corner here and it would still look nice. Um, I'm going to wallpaper this whole section up here and then down here we're going to do some wainscoting. Um, the outside is, well, it's going to be a little bit tricky because this is where the plastic for the windows is going to be glued. And then I have to like frame the window in so that you don't see all of the edges. Um, and so I think I'm going to do like a either a brick, a stone, or maybe even a uh, jumbo popsicle stick look where they'd all be horizontal. I haven't decided yet. That's going to be tough. 
Um, the spine of the book slash room will also be painted um, probably with stones or brick. And then, of course, the back of it will also have another finished look. That way she can turn it around. And, of course, the floor can also fit whoops right in here like so and so you know easy storage she can put it away of course there will be artwork on the walls there will be some shelving and like I said there's going to be a fireplace and a mantle over here so even if she can't close it completely I still want her to be able to close it mostly all the way um, so that she can put it away when she's not using it so this is gonna be like I said a challenge but I am up to it and if it turns out like I'm hoping this can be something that I can offer in the future um, instead of a standard diorama that is not collapsible so fingers crossed that this will work and I hope that you guys are enjoying this process and I will see you guys in a little bit